tonight from Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. see Mac Jones and the New England Patriots taking on Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. All the success in New England over the last few decades, and this crowd has never been more enthusiastic. A moment ago, the pass emerged from their locker room. They are set as they'll square off with the Kansas City Chiefs. The wait is finally over. Brandon God and Charles Davis here on the start of a new NFL season, and we kick it off with a bang on Thursday night. What's interesting about these Thursday night games is oftentimes we hear people say, is it really fair for players to play on Thursday night? But what did we hear from both of these teams going into this one? How excited they were to have the spotlight on their teams, their franchises, the rest of the league watching them go at it. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Chiefs offense for their first possession, and it's Patrick Mahomes at quarterback. And when you think of Patrick Mahomes, you start to think about all of his attributes, and you realize very quickly, you can't just put him into one box. No matter how the game proceeds, no matter what is needed, he tends to have an answer for it and plays accordingly. First down, Mahomes. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Not too many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass-catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. From the 40 now on second down, Mahomes. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 28. Nice methodical opening drive here. They're already in the field goal range. They're in a good spot. You know that people just like to take a shot in this part of the field. But at the same time, as methodical as they've been, they might want to run the ball a little bit here, too. And just on the outskirts of the red zone, they have options now. Either way, though, they've come out with a purpose. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pickup of three. Smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Gabe Neighbors 
A five-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs are on the board here first in the season opener. Extra point by Butker is on target. And it's now a 7-0 game. So that one, an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards. And it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. This one fielded at the five. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So out comes the Patriots' offense as they'll get their first shot at things here. They're led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. Mac Jones absolutely believed in himself coming out of high school. Went to Alabama despite the fact there were many high-profile quarterbacks already on the roster and blossomed into a Heisman Trophy candidate in his final season with 41 touchdowns and only four interceptions. Steady, consistent as a passer, doesn't have the biggest cannon for an arm, but can stretch the field and lay those passes in on the deep ball. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Now Jones. Well, it's caught on the right side of Smith. Yeah, that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. Throwing Jones. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. That throw's not going to get him a whole lot, but that really didn't matter, did it? They got what they needed on that throw. Picked up the first down, and I'm going cliche here. Game of inches, partner. Absolutely. Well, and you talked to me a lot about opening drives, how key those are to set the tone. You kept the drive alive. Third down conversion here is big. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. But they'll run the toss here with Stevenson. They'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. He was hoping to get to the edge, but they did a really nice job of forcing him back inside. That's excellent fundamental defensive football. Don't let them outside where they can really shred your defense. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking to throw to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field, and a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 36. Meanwhile, Jones throw taken in by Adams. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. This is shaping up to be a really nice-looking drive to get the season underway here. And how long do you think that they actually have been plotting this drive? I'm talking about the coaching staff, right? They've been thinking about this for a while now, and I think they're executing it even better than what they expected. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Here's Stevenson, and that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big play. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Jadu Smith taking it in from four yards out. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. Full connects on the extra point. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. They were successful last time finding the end zone on their opening drive of the season. And they'll get another shot here with a first and ten. From the gun, it's Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Now a look at Smith, not sure exactly what happened, but he's still down. 
Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Boy, not what you want to see in quarter one of the new year. We'll be back. Mahomes throw caught by his receiver, Hill. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. But I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Seven yards to pick up there. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes, and he gets this inside the 35-yard line. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but 7-7, seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get an advantage that way. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. They'll get this out to Barkley complete. Oh, he's hit. He lost the football. Put it on the carpet. And it's picked up by the Patriots. There he goes left side. 20. And they will finally put it into the return, but not until he takes it back all the way inside the 10-yard line. So the turnover forced and a wonderful job on a big return. And how about the convoy that got created to help him get all the way back upfield? I mean, that's the part that people miss on. That's practice. That's worked on. It doesn't just happen in a game and everyone rallies. They discuss it prior to, and everyone knows their role when they... And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Ramondre Stevenson taking it in from seven yards away. Patriots have taken the lead. On for the extra point is Folk. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And last time the turnover on the fumble. And they were in enemy territory. So that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here. Can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard. Had a drive going. Had pushed it past the 50-yard line. So they thought they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing. Not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Throwing now is Mahomes. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. A gain of six there on first. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. Not the kind of gain that we'll go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of gain that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL and Clyde edwards alaire with that low center of gravity and strength. He's going to get those tough 30 yards for you when necessary. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they get five there on third and two. Something to watch here in week one of the season, tackling. Because you and I both know that in the preseason, a lot of these guys don't play a whole lot. Plus, the intensity and the speed really ratchets up on opening week. They go play action. Now Mahomes. This one complete to me, Cole Hardman. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. Now it appears we've got a Chief moving pretty gingerly down there. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 30-yard line. Boy, not what you want to see in quarter one of the new year. We'll be back. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And in 
inside the 20 before he's brought down. 42 yards for him on the ground in this first quarter. He has been tremendous to start the new year. Partner, in our years together, we've never really run into a player that's admitted a, a doubt or a lack of confidence, right? But right now, I'm just wondering about that interior line because on defense, they're starting to get manhandled at the point of attack. Do they have it in them to figure a way to reverse the tide? Because right now, they're running the ball at will. That catch good for only a couple. I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking to myself is, big man with football, <laughs> look out, everyone. He may not juke you a whole lot, right? He may not run past you because of his size. You're talking about a guy weighing in the 270 range. But boy, once he gets his mitts on the ball, he's going to be tough to bring down. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. Edwards Alaire, they'll try to run for it. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. They'll try to run with Edwards Alaire. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Clyde Edwards Alaire taking it in from two yards out. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. New England trying to get a place on offense. And we have seen a lot on the scoreboard here in this quarter. So you know, sometimes you talk to me about tendency breakers on offense. These defenses struggling. Are there tendency breakers on defense? All defensive coordinators keep something in their hip pocket for these types of situations. What can we do to slow down the onslaught? But the biggest thing is make sure these guys encourage each other, pick themselves up, because right now, it's been a really tough ball game trying to stop these offenses. Oh, it really has, especially as of late. Throwing on second and eight. Jones rolling to his right. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. And he takes a shot on the release, as this will be incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Off play action. Jones. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And incomplete on the deep ball. Sure, that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit and they may have to change accordingly. Here's Jones on third down. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. Pass the 20. Pass the in. Yes. The way in. Jacoby Myers, 63 yards, and the Patriots have moved out in front. Good throw there, and I don't want to blow it too out of proportion, but he looks a lot more comfortable in his second season. You can tell he put the work in in the offseason, and what I mean by that is understanding the playbook, not just the plays and how to execute them, but how to do it against a variety of defenses, also understands his team better, what they can and cannot do. You can see the confidence rising in him as he plays. Extra point up and good by Folk, and the lead is now 21-14. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown.
And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The KC offense and Clyde Edwards-Alaire getting the ball back here. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call it in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. They get the guard out of Georgia Tech, Shaq Mason. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Back to throw. Jones. Caught on the right side by Adams. And he finally goes out of bounds across the opposite 40. Big play there for New England. But he reminded us that he was a thousand yard receiver a year ago as he starts off week one picking up right where he left off. He told us at the end of the preseason he was primed for a big year. He just gave us excellent evidence of his belief. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. On second down, it's Stevenson. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. So right now what I'm seeing, I'm seeing an offense just firing off the ball a lot quicker than they can react. And not only that, they're sustaining the blocks too. I'm seeing guys get six, seven yards downfield before there's even a hint of contact. And caught by Henry. A gain of six there on first. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. New England on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. They're up against a third and one situation. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the nine yard line. Looking to throw, Jones. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. It's a pickup of three but still a little work to do on third and goal. Back to throw. Jones. A rifles one and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 12. Well, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a... here on first down. He'll buy some time right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Off the play fake. Jones. He's going to let it go again. 
Oh, a leap, and he will make the catch. And he will be taken down, but it is a huge play there to flip field position. And they'll be on the other side of the field as we have reached the two-minute warning. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground. Honed in on it and stopped them. Mucked that down for a win in the defense's column. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Off play action. Jones. And that is incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. And Folk's kick is good. And that'll bring him back within four. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in the second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hold. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Patrick Mahomes on his way out for their next drive. And the numbers for the last drive, and he was perfect, which maybe isn't surprising because he has not missed a pass in this game yet. And it lets you know just how precise things have to be for a quarterback to be perfect because that means the line's blocking really well, no one's dropping any of the passes thrown to them, and the quarterback is accurate. It's almost like a pitcher throwing a no-hitter or a perfect game, isn't it? He's the principal guy, but he needs a lot of help. Time to find out if he can keep that perfect game going here, partner. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. now on first down. And he goes down. It's a Patriots sack. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Now they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And he'll look underneath here for Edwards Alaire. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Can't do that. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. A bad time for a roughing penalty. And they get the gift of a first and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. And he will find his man on the outside. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And out of bounds, all the way down at the three. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. 
And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So you got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. And again, it's Mahomes. And it's caught. Touchdown! Travis Kelsey in the final seconds of the first half. And the Chiefs would extend their lead here just before halftime. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that pushes the lead up to 11. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting pay dirt. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And with five seconds to go, this will likely be our final play. They'll roll him out right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. So we have reached halftime here in the Thursday night opener. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports. All right, we will save the week one highlights and apparently get right back to the action here in the third. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. Now this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Here comes Mac Jones and the rest of the Patriot offense. We will see here that he's done quite a bit, but the bottom line, I guess, partner, it hasn't been enough right now. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And they're on the short end of the scoreboard here. Charles, what adjustments, if any, do you think they need to make for the second half? Well, paraphrasing the gold medal hockey winning coach Herb Brooks, I just say you continue to play your game. Throw the ball. They had success doing it in the first half. So make sure you keep getting the ball to your playmakers, a little bit more to the perimeter perhaps. But above all, play your game. Pretty good results here on the first down run as he takes this forward for about six. Well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Jones now. Throwing on first down. Open man here, the tight end, Henry. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. He had a really solid first half running the football and picking up where he left off here in the third quarter. How about the yardage he's piling up right now? This feels like a full game, not just a series that we're watching right now. I know people are screaming, where are the adjustments from halftime on the defensive side of the ball? Sometimes they're just not there. Sometimes you just got to find a way to tackle someone. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. On second down now, it's Stevenson. And yeah, the Patriots are going to be set up with a first and goal as good running gets him down to about the four-yard line. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Oh, now a running play here with Smith. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Jonu Smith, already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Patriots have cut it back within a score. He's having a nice little game. Maybe already has an eye on that third touchdown. How about what our producer, Christian McLeod, likes to say when they've scored touchdowns like this? He's put a tent up in touchdown city. 
They're going to try and run. And he'll get in for the two points. And that'll cut the deficit down to just a field goal. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call. And he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion. And now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. And he returns this to the 22. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. Here's second and nine. To throw, it's Mahomes. This pass going to be caught by Hardman. That catch good for five. It's third down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target, and he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Third and four is always a tough call. Maybe a little too long to run for it, but not too long to hit him on the quick slant. And that was well executed. Found the window and zipped it right in there. Mahomes now on first down. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Marching in for the sack, Matthew Judon. Well, here's what having mobility sometimes can work against you as a quarterback. He thinks he can retreat and run the pressure. But that time, they zeroed in on him and took him down for a big loss, partner. A really big loss. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Now here's Mahomes. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That's a big gainer on that play, and from experience, I can tell you, that's where defensive backs will come into the huddle and say, guys, how about some pass rush? But you're going to say it nicely, because those big guys up front, they don't like being criticized very much. Quarterbacks in this league, you know they'll pick you apart if you give them time like that to find receivers downfield. I'm getting a sense that the momentum of this game is changing since the break. Nice play. Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. They'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. Well, that takes to start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And Old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That to his running back, Edwards Hilaire. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. Here's the Chiefs punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? Yeah, he said the football is roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up. And he's going to be taken down shy of the five-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. 
from deep in their own territory. They look to throw. And this complete to Henry over the middle. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Now a give to Taylor. And they're going to get the first down here as he's up to the 14. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Taylor. And able to get this one out just shy of the 25 at the 24. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. It's caught here by Adams. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, the offer can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Here's Taylor. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. Huh, hate to see this, week one of the season. We'll be back. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Looking to throw. Jones. And he's taken down. A And they weren't in zone coverage, they were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a Defensive Player of the Year at the other, and they just locked people down. Jones, off play action. He's going to fire this thing deep right sideline. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. And the punter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. And this returnable for Hill. And just a net of 31 here. 40-yard punt, nine on the return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Set to take over, Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. He's played well. Good first half. He's continued that here in the third quarter. But my question, when you're a head coach, what do you look at stat line-wise for your court? Do you go right to turnovers? You really do. As much as coaches don't want to talk about that. Starts with a carry by Stevenson. And he'll take this one up to about the 23. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Again, it's Stevenson. 
And he'll be corralled right around the 34. 127 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So after three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. And he's going to get forward for about five, but that may be coming back. What say you, Mr. Referee? That hold coming from the middle of the line, the center. And it's difficult for him because sometimes you've got people right over you, and as soon as you snap it, trying to get your hands up to block them, you can be a little bit late getting it done. And they finally get him, but not before he reaches the 33-yard line. But I think the Patriots are going to hang on to the football. They do. They get it back. First and 10, Taylor now working his way for a gain of seven to the 26. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. They run once more with Taylor, and he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add a little, little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. They'll run on first down. Taylor, and he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now a handoff, Taylor with it. And they'll get him down right around the 16. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. They come up on a first and goal and most likely four down territory as they need a touchdown and the PAT for the lead. And finding room to work, he's down to the two-yard line. A good run on first down, and now they contemplate a second and goal situation. Here's Taylor again. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Call gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Now that Patriots sideline not happy with what just transpired, and they're going to throw out the challenge flag. Is this a touchdown? That's the question. CD, what are they looking for here? You just need any part of the football to break the plane. You don't need the whole football. It doesn't need to go over the entire white line. It's just that front part of the white line. And if you draw an imaginary plane going straight up, that's what they need to cross. So the decision to challenge does not pan out, and that's also going to cost him a timeout. And Taylor, I don't think he got there. No, he did not. Unable to break free, and he's marked short. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. That was a huge play on third down, so now what? Do you go for it? Do you trust your offense? Or do you want to play on your defense to try and get the ball back? Me? I'm going for it right here. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for And he is in. Touchdown, New England. Jonu Smith with now three week one touchdowns. And the Patriots can take the lead with the extra point. And those three rushing touchdown games in this league, you know darn well, those are hard to come by. They're becoming even harder to come by as the years go by, aren't they? Isn't that the truth? It doesn't matter what you do in terms of game planning. You may be a run-first team, but you're running against an NFL defense. That's some of the biggest, fastest, best athletes on the planet. Hard to do. Cherish that moment, even as he's eager to add to that total. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown.
From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result that he opted for the touchback. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. And that, oh, nearly picked off. Well, it would have been a great time for their first interception of the game. Instead, it's second down. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 89 yards rushing for him now as he's done it on 19 carries. I was used to joke with my teammates who carried the ball a lot. When we got in these situations and they were carrying us home, I used to tell them, boy, you guys just look like Paul Bunyan, just growing stronger, bigger, tougher. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 49. Well, what a turnaround. They exited the lockers with a nice lead, and now all of this, what's happened? So when you start to write your novel, you'll start out with, it was a tale of two halves, won't you? Right, but I'm a bad writer. <laughs> I don't know exactly what happened because sometimes teams can go in with a lead and get too comfortable, too relaxed, and a couple of things go wrong, and it's hard to get back that good feeling. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Again, it's Taylor. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. But they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. And down inside the 15 he goes. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the... And he's in! Touchdown, Patriots! J.J. Taylor, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And with that, the lead is up to eight. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Taking it about the one. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Patrick Mahomes in the offense. Down by eight, a minute 55 remaining. They've surrendered a double-digit lead, but can rescue themselves late as they come up on first down. And he can't get a throw-off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Mahomes to throw it. Mahomes, good. he lost the football. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Mahomes. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it you off. Love it, baby. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. 
Charles, we've seen them target one of their main weapons time and time again. Maybe they went to that well too many times there. Yeah, and it's so difficult to determine how many times is too many because how many times have we seen a team go and play and say, until they stop us, we'll keep going. But they got stopped on that one, and it cost them six points. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. KC's offense ready to take over. And fresh off the pick six. They've got to forget about that quickly. In this case now, the guy throwing the ball, he's got to be like what we talk about with defensive backs who get beat for a long touchdown. Short-term memory, right back out there doing the things that he does best and knowing that taking care of the ball is paramount, here's his opportunity. It all comes back to those defensive backs for the formal D, former DB, right? I don't know where that comes from. It yeah. just kind of emerges out of me for some it's reason. It's deep in there, right? <laughs> First down now, but that clock rolling. Finding Kelsey. And he's able to get this one down. Here's Mahomes. And he goes down. It's a Patriots sack. Dietrich Wise Jr., his second sack of the night. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. As the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Mahomes. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. It's Kyler Duggar who picks it. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense, but they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. On the handoff, Taylor. And he'll power his way up here to 25. And now we're going to get a timeout. Somewhat pointlessly called with three seconds to go in a game that's already been decided. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. It's good for them to get that first game under their belts. For you and I, that first Thursday night game, also good for us to get that under our belts, wasn't it? It was no longer preseason. We were into the regular season, the first game of the year. And you know, all eyes were watching this when everyone was excited that football was back. And it's just special. You could just feel it. It's so good to have the pigskin back out there. It'll be crisp fall weather before we know it. You got that right. But I love the buildup to it, right? All day long, anticipating it and then we got here and we saw a game the first game of the year let's keep going so for new england they begin the new campaign with a victory here in front of the home crowd in the thursday opener and now they'll get the weekend off as they get a little extra time to prepare to face the buffalo bills meanwhile for kansas city they go down to defeat here in the opener and they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.